Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com nightly wrap up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. So uh, pretty much of a res day today in the markets. Um, I, I think that's a good thing. Uh, I really do. Um, I, I think one of the biggest keys to when you're, when you're trading for a long time, and a lot of you guys that have been trading for a year, two years, and three years, you're not really, uh, you're not really at that mental point yet. But uh, the most important part is, you, and I, I talk about this randomly, but you have to kind of know when the premium days are, okay? And the premium days are always going to be towards the later of the week. Uh, yesterday, we had a very, very aggressive day. And today, and we'll, you know, we'll talk about it. Um, we'll talk about it from the Twitter feed um, and the pivot stay in a few minutes. But, but today, you, you can see how even when the Dow Jones was strong, and again, market is very, very strong. If you look at, uh, if you look at just the macro picture, again, big, big breakout yesterday. Uh, again, paused right at the upper Bollinger Band. So again, can we back test for another day? Absolutely. But again, market's very, very strong. So uh, you could see it how the strongest names today they just weren't pushing uh, when the futures were popping. And again, I, I try to make it uh, very, very clean to understand, especially in the live webinar. Um, that the market's not a short, okay? Uh, the stocks have come in a little bit, back test, uh, but, but they're far from a short because the last thing you want to do is a, a very, very aggressive market going to the upside and you got a very, very slow, methodical move back testing into the rising support. Uh, and there's buyers there. There's buyers on a lot of names. And we'll, you know, one of our, uh, one of our opening trades today was, was a buy on the 60 minute support on one of the strongest stocks today, uh, which was Roku. Uh, but you, you could clearly see uh, the volume was very, very tiny today. A lot of names were trading in tighter channels, but what I did, what I, what I really liked, what I saw today was every single time that there was another channel that was formed, they were nowhere close, okay, close to uh, taking out the previous candle confirmation to the downside, uh, other than Tesla, who had a big run yesterday, and we talked about this obviously in the video that I thought was a second move coming back to the downside today, which it did again three day run. And got it. You know, we talked about this yesterday and it played out perfectly today. Uh, you had the inverted hammer that we talked about again, which is a short term sell signal. Confirmed last night's prices, yesterday's prices, and went right to the next support, which you see right over here. So uh, again, the market was good. Uh, I think probably you get one more leg down. Uh, on Tesla again, this is not a short into you know again people are coming up with well accounting frauds and uh, settle down. Um, you know all it is probably get one more day to this rising uh, five day support and, and again I'd like to possibly get a short off this channel here. We'll talk about it tomorrow depending how it opens. But this is a buy. I mean this is definitely a buy into rising support. It's just again had an eighty dollar move and you know today came down 11, which we talked about last night. I think we have one more day, right? We have one more day. Uh, not heavy action today in the options market on the Tesla sell side, but there was yesterday. There was, uh, those 320, uh, 312.50 puts, you know, they're all, they're all starting to pay there. So, uh, you know, pretty, look, action was pretty decent today in the morning. Uh, it got aggressive towards the end of the day um, on BYD. And congratulations, I know several of you guys uh, came in long puts on BYD, just an absolute blow up. And again, when you, and again, for all you guys who, who didn't see the video, I say, you know, you're talking about uh, a company that actually had a 250% year over year, um, doubled, you know, doubled their estimates, right? You're talking about, I think they reported six cents versus three and they still couldn't rally it. You know, we said it last night when I was charting, um, when I was charting after the close and some people were still in the webinar and I said, it's over, I mean, the game's over. And uh, today, I mean, today on BYMD, every level got taken out. You know, got taken out uh, the 90.50, right? The 90.50, which was yesterday's low, yesterday's uh, pre-market low. It took out, the, it took out the, the, the 84 level that we talked about later in the day, gave a $4 candle. So this thing is lower, I, I think, it, it challenges the seventy-five dollar level again. When you go back to uh, when you go back to the daily chart, every level so far that we talked about got filled. Uh, the late, next one is this right here, the seventy-five seventy-six level. And if you look at the sixty-minute, 
uh, 60 minute interval kind of correlates uh, perfectly. But again, uh, you know, the day was fine. The day was fine. There's nothing wrong with the day. It just wasn't a lot of it. And I think that's the most important part. And this is kind of where we go and we talk about that again. I don't care how big, beautiful car you have, sports car, whatever the case may be. Again, you could have a $1.5, $2 million Bugatti stuck in uh, time, time square traffic, you're not going anywhere. So and that's kind of what the name of the game is, kind of shifting gears, identifying when you have expanded ranges, contracting ranges, identify the days uh, that the market is going to slow down and take a rest. And, and again, it all comes into that full circle of signing up to be a uh, professional trader. Again, hopefully the many years go by, you'll start seeing it, you know, seeing it more clear and clear every day. So let's talk about it, right? So uh, 322 is a 60 minute support. Need strong build. Uh, again, the you know the stock got hit. You know you had Roth coming out with a sell. Okay, here was the 322 channel. Why was 322 important? Again, this was the rising 60-minute uh, view, right? We talk about strong stocks touching their 60-minute views and bouncing. Yesterday, it touched the 60-minute area, right? We talked about this actually on uh, the weekend video, right? It's buying strong stocks into rising wedges, right? So this is a rising wedge, 60-minute bounce, 60-minute bounce. So today. When it broke that 322 area, again, if you believe in the theory of stocks trade from supply to supply and demand to demand, 322 went all the way down to the 315, 316 level, uh, which we talked about. So that was a you know, pretty aggressive move. Um, Roku, we actually traded twice today. Um, we traded on the bounce. The first bounce was perfect. I mean, perfect, perfect bounce. Um, right here, we talked about this pre-market, uh, this 14360, 144 level. I got, off, I got long off this 144 level. I had a premature sale. That's what she said. Um, you know, I sold some because again, the key with the bounces, is especially when everything gets heavy, you, you don't know how big the bounces. My highest sale was up a dollar. I know some of you guys held it to the green. It actually went green. Um, I bought it back. Um, I actually bought it back uh, off that forty-eight level, and the stock spike spiked up about fifty cents or so. And what we noticed about this, and this is again. When we talk about the new traders, you have to watch the order flow. It's so important. And we saw the seller there. We saw it. We saw the seller there. Uh, there was a sneaky pivot there, 47.50, 48.5, uh, 48.17. We saw the seller there. So at 48.50, um, I started making some sales. Uh, I sold two thirds of my position and the rest I sold break even. But yeah, again, here is 47.50 sneaky area. And, and you'll see quickly. Uh, you'll see quickly, again, Amazon never built, obviously, Google never built. Uh, if you see here on 47.50, I started talking about, and I'll show you in a second, uh, 47.50, it's stalling out a little, takes them off, it takes them off. And the most amazing part is, if you if you don't read order flow, you don't see that reload seller over and over and over and over there, and you never made sales, right? I mean, again, the stock put up a you know, dollar, dollar and change move, it wasn't the biggest trade in the world. But, but the key is if you didn't see it stalling out, right? If you didn't see it stalling out, take some off, you would have thought everything's fine. Again, it's that whole theory of, of trading on one gear, you know, driving the Bugatti in uh, Midtown Manhattan, uh, bumper to bumper um, uh, traffic. And again, it's very, very important. Again, the longer you watch order flow and it's much easier to pick up. So a uh, nice move there, good cash flow. So I took it twice today. Uh, pretty decent trades there. Uh, Tesla, again, here it comes, right? Here it comes, got killed. Uh, JBHT, I didn't take this trade because it was just way too thin for me, but it was actually a nice move. Um, we talked about JBHT. Oops, JBHT in the trucking space. Again, not really my thing, but again, does it really need to be my thing? Uh, again, here's the channel. Uh, JBHT trades thinner. Uh, 1790, 18 needs a strong daily build and yada, yada, yada. Uh, this thing went went to 1940. Again, big move here, a daily chart confirmation, right? Beautiful move. Again, I don't need to be in the trade. You know, I don't need, if, if I don't trade JBHT and you like the chart, just buy it. You have to trust technical analysis. The most important thing. Uh, nice move there. Nice, really nice move there as well. You got a $2 move there. Actually, dollar and a half move there. Uh, and this was kind of, uh, I actually gave a better, uh, I actually gave a better pivot uh, then this 8350, 83, even though obviously this works, I actually gave a better pivot. And I kept on saying, this is already like 11, 1130. The action just dried up. And I said, hey, just again, stay patient. You might be for the rest of the day. But I actually gave a better pivot. Okay. Uh, I gave a pit, better pivot. This never, uh, this never confirmed, went down like 10 cents. There was never, there was never a second entry on this thing. Um, so, and I kept on saying, you know, say it's dead out there. It's just really dead, dead out there. Save your chips. Uh, we'll get something better. But uh, again, here comes JBHT. 
Uh, and here, here it was, right? So here, here was the, here was the setup here. Um, this is the last three candles, right, of uh, the 60-minute view of uh, BYND. And I said, hey, if this thing can clear out this bottom channel, it's going to come in. And uh, here was the sneaky pivot, right? 60-minute view, uh, 84 held three times. If it builds below, it can flush. And da 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 right? Here's BYND. Here's the pivot, right? Here's the three candles we just talked about. Uh, 84, 84, 84, da, 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 broke 84, went down to uh, 80, 77, so big move there. I, again, I still think this thing tomorrow breaks 80. I think it still sees 75. Uh, again, this thing's a disaster. Uh, but you know, again, listen, it was, it was a, the day was fine. There was nothing wrong with the day. Uh, we, we've loved a little bit more uh, juice spread out throughout the day. Of course, who doesn't? But again, it's not the reality we want. It's the reality we have. We've got to be adults about it. And the most important thing is, again, trade because there's value and not because the market's open. So going into tomorrow, look, I, I think you, 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 we might have one more day of weakness in the indexes. Does it really matter? Uh, I don't think it does. I, I don't think it really matters. I think the most important thing is waiting for the value to kick in. And I think there's some value. So let's talk about the, some value. Uh, going into uh, tomorrow's session, uh, let's start off with um, let's start off with Boeing. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.